Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Tonight's video presentation is going to be fairly short, but I wanted to make a video on it as I did this the other day, and I feel that most likely one of you could be doing something similar and make the same mistake. So, if you know, last week we did a live stream about firewalls where we just played around with them. It was my first time really playing with Proxmox firewalls, and I just wanted to learn with you guys as I did so. Well, with that, I was setting up a firewall on a new server that I was planning on using at the new VE location. And, well, it didn't go as planned. So, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, and I've been playing around with this VM for the last few minutes trying to recreate it, and I was unable to. But I have something that I can do that will recreate what happened, so I can show you how I solved the problem. So with that, let's go and create our problem and then solve it. So here, under Firewalls, we're just going to go to Options, and we're going to turn the firewall on. Now, if you remember from that video, if you have firewalls, they need to be turned on in all locations for them to work in a VM or container. But if they're turned on in Data Center and your server, they'll work on your server. So they have to go down the chain as such. So by default, they're always turned on on your server. And we can see that here as yes. Then they're turned off on your server. So you have to go into options and turn them on. So here's our firewall. And right now it's empty because I deleted as I was working to bring it back to this state. We're going to add a rule to drop all incoming traffic and enable it. This will essentially block us from communicating with this server using the web interface or even SSH. So now as I refresh, which might take a second, it should block us. There it goes. So at this point, we're unable to communicate with our system at all. So you can see. So if we were actually to take our standard line here and copy it and try to load the page, you can see that we'll get an error message. Now, to fix this problem and get back into the server, we need to get a console environment. Now here you see it virtualized, so I have a console. You, you're probably going to have to plug a monitor and keyboard into your server to get to this screen. You can log in with your password and the username of root just as you would log in to your web interface. And then you can run the command pve-firewall stop. This will turn off the firewall until the next time you do updates or the next reboot of your system. So make sure once you get your firewall turned off that you make corrections to either your rules or disable your firewall in your web interface so that you're not locked out of your server once again. Now, when I press refresh, you can see we're back at our server and able to log in and create rules. So if I wanted to disable this firewall, we'd go to the server and then firewall, then options, and firewall edit, and OK to disable it. Likewise, if I wanted to disable my drop rule, we'd just uncheck the checkbox. I hope you enjoyed tonight's short video presentation on how to disable a firewall. 
And I hope if you've locked yourself out of your system and are unable to get in to fix rules or anything else, you found tonight's session helpful. As always, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help virtualize everything, bring content on virtualization to the world of YouTube. As always, have a good night.